Good evening. Here are some of the headlines to anticipate against tomorrow, the 21st of July, 2023. This is tomorrow's news today. We begin with national news. Questions and anxieties arise as Tinubu drags feet on appointment of ministers. Work together. Be teachable, Remy Tinubu tells female lawmakers. Vice President Shetima chairs Nigeria's second Economic Council meeting in Abuja. Police arraign 11 members of the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees on allegations of forgery, impersonation and threats. A woman has been beaten to death in Anambra State for allegedly picking money sprayed on birthday celebrant. National Judicial Council debunks alleged resignation of Presidential Tribunal George. Court grants Namdi Kanu access to doctors of his choice. Military air strikes and kill 22 terrorists in Katsina. On fuel hike, pro Tinubu protesters storm National Assembly. Strong US dollar slows economic growth in emerging economies, says IMF. Emadeb Energy ends NNPC monopoly and imports 27 million liters of petrol. On fuel subsidy, petroleum product distributors protest against alleged increase in fuel loading fees. Don't approve electricity tariff increase, lawmakers tell Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. In tech news, Google explores AI tools for journalists and is in talks with publishers. Twitter to subpoena Senator Elizabeth Warren over communications with U.S. agencies. In entertainment news, Davido gifts 237 million naira to Nigerian orphanages, 20 months after 250 million naira donation. The Zane Alison Maduke's latest photo surfaces online after eight-year absence due to cancer battle. We move to international news. World Health Organization warns of unsafe syrup in Cameroon, says it may get to neighboring countries. Iraq expels Swedish ambassador over planned Quran burning. Russia bombards Ukraine ports, threatening ships while jolting world grain markets. Russia seeks 20 years in jail for Kremlin critic Nalvani. Lastly, in sport, Bruno Fernandes replaces Harry Maguire as new Man United captain. Home joy as New Zealand and Australia open Women's World Cup with narrow wins. Kaspar Asgreen escapes to victory on tour de France stage 18. Get details of these news and more on our website at guardian.ng or pick up a copy of our newspaper from your closest newsstand. Do not forget to follow us at Guardian Nigeria on all our social media platforms. I am Ifinaya Wachikupo Guardian TV. Good night.